Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Canarium. I'm Camcheck Fisco. Come join us for an HP Lovecraft adventure on our first stop on the Horror Rush. Alright, so that's done. Now we just have to move forward to the branching other directions. Piece of cake. Alright, so we have that way, and we have these ways. Looked like uh, that something holding its head and its head fell off. What the hell is this? Um, okay, thank you. Ornamental object. Sure. We'll go with that. No idea what the hell that means, but we'll go with that. Okay, so we've got this way and that way. Then we've got the other direction. Uh, let's check out the other way first. Ah, thought something was on the pedestal, maybe. Okay, so these both go to the same thing. Which I'm assuming is the way forward? Interesting. I wonder what's with the geometry there. Okay, so we put the crystal here. Oh, that killed the... I saw something. I killed the plants. So that's got to be the way forward. So I want to go back. I heard something moving over there. I want to go back over here and search the side passage we didn't check out. Hmm. Hello. Shells everywhere. Do I do something with this? Hmm. That's a lot of uh, circles. Not sure what their purpose or meaning is, but okay. That's a hell of a way to move. Is that the only one? Looks like something's missing here. Do I need to go back and get the crystal again? Oh, should I have used the crystal here first? Crap, did I screw that up? I hope we can get it back. If we miss something, I'm going to kick myself. I mean, I can always quick load, but still. Ice moving is not helping. Oh, cool, so we can pick this up and carry this with us when we go back and forth. So we're probably going to need it for multiple areas, then. So I'm guessing that first area of plants is not the only one that we have to... abscond the plants away. Thwart them. Banish them to the ether. Sorry. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. Oh, okay. So it's not the right crystal. we got to come back with another one. The crystal I have doesn't fit why, here. Why did I suddenly pull the crystal out if it doesn't work here? That was really weird. Okay, so we can't leave the crystal. If we don't leave the crystal, the plants grow back. So if we find something else to attach to the crystal or a different crystal, we can come back and combine them or use it back over there. But for now, we got to leave that here. Um. Hello. Time for another vision. Look like the lizard guys, or no, those were frog guys. Never mind. I thought that, I was gonna say they look like the lizard guys from, uh, was it Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth? But no, those are lizards. Those were frogs. These are lizards, different species. But they wore the same cloaks the same way, so it was really weird in that regard. Oh, hey, another wall we can break down. This stonework seems weak. Yes, it does. Well, I but went way faster than I was expecting. A lot of cobwebs and crap everywhere. What happened to you, buddy? Just fell to pieces, didn't you? Just couldn't move on. Oh, now you were creepy. 
Oh, hello. I guess a souvenir for the journey. Never hurt anybody. A feathered mask I took off the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their internal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers make me think how flamboyant it might have once been. I guess if we're gonna fight Cthulhu, we might as well have a few souvenirs along the way? Mm -hmm. Alright, is this the way forward? Do I want to go back and search that other path? Or is this the secret? Okay, this feels like the way forward, even though we had to break the wall down. I'm gonna go back and check the other path. So I really want to get that crystal so we can figure out what the hell that giant solarium-looking room thing was. Yep, time for another vision. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Like a portal. So can we move these things or what? The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone okay. is illegible. So do I have to collect stones to move them or... Not sure what... I don't remember this symbol. Okay, so dash, dash, dot, inverted L. Oh, so some of these have symbols. Okay. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. I don't remember this symbol. So what is the significance of these symbols? Whoa, this one has like all of them. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. I don't remember this symbol. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about the repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. So is that the symbol we need? Well, that's certainly the crystal we're using. I can't interact with any of the rest of these, so... Yeah! This must be the crystal we need for the, the, the solarium room thing. So let's go back and plug that in. And then we can move forward. Probably turn some doohickey on or something. Some such nonsense and hoodoo proportions. Our stamina does last a decent while, and you don't have to not run for very long. That was English. You only have to run for you only have to walk for a short period of time before you get your full stamina back, which is really cool. Alright, does this crystal fit it? Yes, it does. Oh, I probably have to rotate it back. I had to lower it to put the crystal in. That actually makes sense. You go spinning back, and you do what it is you do. Um. There we go. It's melting the ice. Oh, there's like a star chart on the roof. What the hell? So it's like a Z with lines on either side. I tried placing the reddish crystal into the into the still clean tip of an odd metallic device and it fitted perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position using the control handle, this glyph was projected onto the wall. Interesting. Can I not interact with the map itself? Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? That must be the planet they're from. I have found a secret. The dome room was closed as I activated the strange machine. I don't... I was reading that. A network of bright lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of star map. But curiously, one of the dots, the brightest one, was a different color to the others. What could be the meaning of this? That's probably the home planet of Cthulhu, because they did come from the stars. 
they are aliens to our world. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens! Alright, so we've done what we can do. Now we just need to go to the area that we busted open and see where that new path leads, because I'm pretty sure we've done everything else. It's... No, it's... The hell? What was that? Hi? You don't bloody see me, man. The frick was that thing? Do we have like a whole stealth sequence here or something? Can we actually get her? Can we die? I thought we were in a, you know, a game that didn't have death. Well, I mean, it's Cthulhu, it always has death, but you know what I mean. Hi. Uh, uh, it's doing something uh, to our head. Probably because uh, of the Canarium stuff. Uh, uh, that's a zombie. Can I not? Can I, can I, can I? Getting a little friendly here. Uh, uh, oh God, what was that all about? A vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. You don't oh. say! Can I have control back now, please? Blood? Probably they had a hemorrhage there. Can't mess with the human brain without consequences, buddy. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. I don't see where I could put a crystal, though. Is there something in the room now that I'm not being locked into a vision, maybe? Oh, um, I'm gonna try something if the game will let me. I'm gonna run back, grab the crystal, zip through the, the vines before they close, and see if I can just hold the crystal here, and if that's enough. Maybe that'll get the vines to retreat? I don't know, let's find out. Go, 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 go! Gee. Well, if I'm wrong about that, we can't backtrack, and I may have just screwed myself, but I quick save, so we should be fine. Yep, I can hit Q, bring out the crystal, and it starts glowing, so I can use it to just fend off any plants that are in my way, because the crystal's now charged when I put it on the pedestal. That makes sense. So we now have a portable power source. To make the vines with a... Um, if you move a little faster, bro, you're in my way. Yep, they just grew right back. So at least now we have a portable get the hence vines ability. That's handy. And we're now perma stuck in this area. I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong, right? Okay. Oh, wait. oh, shit. It looks like it's slowly turning blue? I can't tell. Is it charging from light? No, it's not. Well, what the hell do I do now? I'm kind of stuck in here. Oh, handy. I just gotta bust it out when I'm near the crystal. Um, does it like stop on its own or do I just put it away? I guess I just put it away. Okay, so I just recharge it when we hit the next thingamajig. Um, no, stay out. I need to get through the vines, man. Sheesh. Alright, let's recharge her. I'm gonna assume that was long enough. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.